Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Lambert W function. Okay, now first, um, what's the Lambert W function, right? Well, if f of x is equal to x times e to the x, then the inverse of f is the Lambert W function. So the Lambert W function is the inverse of this function f of x here. Um, so uh, w of x is equal to f inverse of x. Now note the following important observation, which is f of f inverse of x we know is equal to x. But that's the same as f of w of x in this case, right? Okay, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, f of w of x means plugging in w of x right there. And therefore, it means replacing this x and that x with w of x. So we see that x is equal to x is equal to uh, w of x times e to the w of x. This will be important in a second. So let's underline it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, uh, to do the integral here, let's start with the substitution that u be equal to w of x. So if u is equal to w of x, then notice that x, which we've underlined here, is equal to u e to the u, right? So x is equal to u e to the u. So then dx will have to be this here, right? And so if we clean that up a little bit, dx is this here, right? Okay, cool. So then we're ready to write our integral in terms of u. So our integral is going to be u, which is w of x, right? And then dx, which we have down there. And if we multiply u to uh, what we have here as being dx, then what we're going to get is u squared plus u times e to the u times du. Okay, from here, it's integration by parts, and we're going to use the DI method to do the integration by parts quicker, right? And I have videos on the DI method. I'll link them below here, but yeah. Um, so let's pick this to be what we differentiate. Let's pick that to be what we integrate. And so uh, we start this way, and again, watch videos on the DI method, but uh, we know that we pair them diagonally like that. We're going to multiply them. That's what I mean by pairing them. But of course, we also need the alternating signs in front. So I'll put that on, right? OK, cool. Ah, the minus. <laughs> OK, now, uh, therefore, this integral here uh, using the DI method is going to be this here. OK, now notice that we could factor out an e to the u from these three guys. And if we do and simplify, first we'll have u squared, um, f well, leading we'll have e to the u times u squared. And then u here minus 2u here is going to be minus u. And this is a minus 1. So minus 1 plus 2 is just going to be uh, 1, right? OK, so that's simple algebra. Basically, you should be able to know that the previous step is the same as this here. OK, now we're going to distribute back this e to the u in this group because we have things to exploit. Uh, specifically, we know that um, u times e to the u is x. So we want to make use of that, right? Uh, and so with that in mind, let's move in this direction. If we distribute the uh, e to the u, then we're, we could write first uh, u squared e to the u as u times u e to the u, right? And then we'll have minus u e to the u. Right, and then we'll have plus e to the u uh, plus c. Okay, remember u is w of x, so this here is w of x, and this here is x as we have there. And this guy will have to be e to the w of x, and there's not much we could do about that, but that's not a problem. Yeah, okay, cool. So then making the uh, substitutions as I just said, we can write this, right. Okay, and we can clean this up a little bit because um, and these two guys, we can factor out an x. And so if we do that, then we can write our final answer like this. x times uh, w of x minus 1 plus e to the w of x and then plus c. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching. Take care.